We are, good morning. We're going to start with our hands together at the heart. Take a moment to come inside. This is your time to clear your mind and take care of your body, your mind, your spirit. And when you're ready, you can set an intention to have a healthy practice that feels good and to stay mindful in the moment. Exhale, your fingertips down towards the floor, and then inhale, lift up the arms. Now you're going to take a little side sway. With your inhale, you lengthen, and your exhale, you side sway up and over. You can think of it as a way to wake up the back, side to side, up and over. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And up. And then take the hand down. This is going to help you support your body. Your hand can, your leg, your leg can cross. And we're gonna rotate. And you're gonna feel so good on that side. Breathe into the right side. And act like someone's pulling your arm. Press down through the foot. And when you breathe, you can feel that your ribs get further apart from each other. You're stretching out all the muscles of uh, the intercostals the back and the shoulders. Four, this is so good for posture, back health, shoulder health, and for respiration, breathing, which all relates to energy and mood. Also, we're stimulating the areas around the lymph nodes, so for immunity. So we're gonna inhale and go up. Both arms can go up, the feet are gonna be underneath the hips. Let your hand come down, take your foot across, and go up and over. Now you're welcome to add a little rotation and just send that breath into the rib cage that you're stretching through. Breathing, opening, stretching, breathing, stretching, and opening. Find a place that feels so good. Reaching. And when you breathe, you can feel the ribs spread apart. The shoulder feels like it's more pliant. The low back feels a little longer between the rib and the pelvis. And you can even do all this with just the lightest smile because you know you're doing something good for your body, mind, spirit, immunity, posture, balance. Good. You might feel you can go a little deeper as you're here too. This, this looks beautiful. We're going to take another inhale. And then as you exhale, gently come back up. Perfect. And lift and spread the toes three times. One and two and three. Now we're going to take a foot on top of the calf or the inner thigh. This is for balance. Calf or inner thigh. The tree pose. And we're going to break this up. So at first, just lift the arms up for 10, 9, 8, welcome, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now the exhale is going to bring the hands down. You can stay here, or if you would like to rotate away from your knee, you can even put your hands down on your pelvis and rotate away from your knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then face front, hands together at your heart, and lower that foot. Samasitiki, balancing the mind body breath. Lift and spread your toes. Take your other foot up to your calf or your inner thigh. And we did this two parts. We're going to go up with the arms if you can. 
Still glide the shoulder blades down the back and hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now inhale, and as you exhale, let your hands come back down. All right, that's great, or you could even add on more. Rotate away from your knee, take your hands towards your hips, and your, your jawline is parallel to the floor here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, open back up, and let your left foot down. <laughs> Beautiful. Now the um, arms and the legs are going to go wide. Take the arms, X them or cross them, and then go up and around. So we're going to do that again. And each time you do this, the other arm comes in front. And you inhale and you exhale. And you can even take the arms behind you. That's it. One more time. Good. And then take your hands down to your thighs. Now your toes are basically forward. They might be slightly turned out. You're going to bend and you can feel there's blood flow getting into the inner thighs. You can, uh, you may not feel it, but you are pumping lymph too. So this is really good for immunity and will increase their blood flow, joints, getting synovial fluid. All right, you may be going lower. Yeah, you feel that? Now, center your body. If you can, interlace your fingers. Let the arms go over and just like a ripe fruit, your head's hanging. Check in with your knees, they're soft. They're not bending backwards. Relax here. Arms float over, neck is soft. Releasing. Shoulders and 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on the one, exhale. Let those hands come to your hips and go up with the halfway up. Blood pressure is adjusting here. So let your blood pressure adjust. Push your feet into the floor. Slide into a upper back lift. So lift up your heart, elbows squeeze together. Inhale, beautiful. Exhale, back into neutral, open up your arms. Now pivot your right toes towards the side wall. And just take five little knee bends. And what you're doing is tracking your knee with your second toe. You're spiraling this leg open and it's like you're getting some more synovial fluid. Now, when you're at about 90 degrees this time, hold, palms up. Let's look majestically over that right hand and hold, five, four, this is a Virabhadrasana, three, we're strengthening the front leg, opening up the chest, two. Now, let this hand behind you head towards the thigh or the calf, Parvriti. Now, make sure you don't thrust your hip forward here. You still wanna spiral that leg back. And hold, breathe, five, four, three, two, inhale. Now exhale, the elbow can go to your thigh, the left arm can go over. Some of you might want to go a little lower. And five. Four, three, two. Now take another inhale, and as you exhale, come back up. Stretch that leg straight. Pivot that left foot. 
Now you're going to put that knee on top of the heel, spiral your thighs open, open up the arms like you're in a state of receptivity, and let's look majestically over that left middle finger and hold, shoulder blades are down. Act like someone's playing tug of war with your arms. Five, four, three, two. Now let this hand go back to your back thigh. Still lift your spine up. Good. You can double check your front knee is over that heel. Your breath is also opening up that side just like we did earlier in half moon. Now take another inhale. That exhale could bring your elbow down towards your thigh and your right arm over your ear. If you would like, you can go lower towards the floor and stretch. Roll your rib cage open. That's gonna feel so good. But good. And remember if it's too much, just put your left forearm on your thigh again. Four, pull, like someone's pulling your arm. Three, two, now take another inhale. As you exhale, come up. Now when you're up, do that little knee, bend, and straighten. And two, now your booty is up against an imaginary wall. Three, you're just training that leg how we want it to track. Two, in line with your second toe. One. Now pivot your toes more inward than you did the first time we did this posture. If you can take your interlaced finger the other way, so if your right pinky is always on the outside, now your left pinky is on the outside, exhale, fall forward, let the arms go over, shoulder soft, neck soft. Relax here, you're kind of just wiggling into this. Might feel a little easier this time. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let your neck sink out, release any tension. And then slowly come back up, hands to your hip bones. Good, let your blood pressure adjust. Push into the floor and come back, elbow squeeze. Whew. Oh, that feels so good, elbow squeeze together. Now when you're ready, your arms go out. If you would like to jump together, land as softly as you can. So it's like a cat, I like a mountain lion image too. Mountain lion, so hands together, you got it. Now reach that right arm up, palms are facing it. The palm is facing inside. Now you do take it your hand to the foot or the ankle. Rib down, other arm up, you're lifting tall, 10. This is gonna feel like that front thigh is stretching, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're welcome to add on that thigh pulling up. And you still want to pull that right hip down. I know that's hard because it's easy to flip the right hip open. 10, neck is soft. So you might end up having to look down now that you're um, pushing that foot up. Nine, eight, push a little harder in that foot, that hand. Six, five, four, three, two, inhale, exhale, come back up, lower that foot, hands to the heart. Feel how nice and open that feels. <laughs> Lift up your left hand, the palms on the inside. Spiral to your left ankle, right arm forward. Rib down, pubic bone up. 
there's that quad that's your focus you're also going to feel that hip flexor Now you can push that foot into your hand. Next softens. Four, three, and you're releasing any tension in the body. Two, take another inhale. And then as you exhale, gently coming back. Perfect. And then lower that foot. All right, we're going to take the right foot forward, left foot back. Now, this is a pyramid pose. When you do this, your feet are in line with the respective hip. This arm opener should feel a little easier because we did this earlier, but just see what happens. Big, cross the other arm in front each time you change. Yes, good Pam. Now, the hands are gonna come behind this, most likely, and interlaced, but if you would like to change that up, you can put your palms together in a prayer pose and work the fingers up the back. Feel your elbows open. Now inhale, soften the knees. Exhale, you're gonna hinge. You see how you're hinging? You're not rounding like a Halloween cat. You're hinging like a good book, like a hardcover book. Look down at your toes, open up the elbows. You're gonna feel these little balancing muscles around your ankle. Now you're stretching the right hamstring while it's working, so we're not aggressive with that. Left hip steers back, right hip feels steers forward. Make sure your toes are not gripping, they're just resting on the floor. Now your eyes are soft, push into the foot, the front foot. Keep going and maybe even back bend here. Lift up over your hands that are behind your spine. Can you lift up your heels and add more balance? Challenge five, four, three, two. Lower your heels with control. Take the feet together. Hands come at the heart. Gorgeous. Now the other side, left foot forward, right foot back. You notice the feet are in a respective Railroad track in line with the respective hip. They're not on a tight rope. The arms are going to spiral at least six times up and around. Each time a different arm is in front. You can think you're taking off a big sweatshirt. Now we're going to take the hands behind us. You could interlace, but if you're working on that palm press, Nama stay behind you. Elbows. Open, exhale, hinge. Now your gaze is gonna change so that your neck is soft. You're gonna pull the left hip back, reach the right hip forward. Palms are together. Notice the little contractions happening to keep you here. Make sure the head's not drooping forward. Your upper back is almost extending here. It's long. Elbows are pulling up. How much tension can you let go of in the face? Mm -hmm. 
your toes are soft, you're gonna push into the floor. Your upper back is going to start going over your hands. Kind of lift up through your heart, and if you can, lift up your heels. That's a balance. Five, good. Four, three, two. Now exhale, lower your heels down. Take your feet together, hands at the heart. Good, give a little release in your shoulders. Now, we are going to add on another shoulder opener because they've been open. Take your right elbow and pat yourself on the back. Your left hand comes up your back. If that's not working out, just do part of the pose. And sit down in a ukatasana, which is a awkward posture, they call it, but it's chair. Heels heavy. Now, if you want to add on, the right leg can cross once or twice. We have a lot going on, so if it's too much, just pick what you need. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now keep your arms, let the legs go. Hold ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Very good. Now we're gonna switch the sides. Your other arm goes up behind you. Your other hand reaches it. Okay. Now if you'd like to add on, sit down. If you would like to add on, lift up your left leg, hook it once or twice around your other thigh. That's helping you be upright. And one, two, three. And try bending your knee more. Sometimes that helps. Four, five, six. It's all face. Seven, eight, nine. Now take another inhale. And as you exhale, keep your arms, just let the legs go for a moment. 10, nine, breathing fully. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. That was really good. And let that go. Roll through your shoulders. Now see if you can step or jump out. You got it. Pivot that right knee around. Get your left heel off the floor. Lift up your arms. Hold here, Virabhadrasana. Or actually, we're gonna do a fuller crescent pose, Anjaniasana. Drop through the hip, lift up through the heart. Neck is cared for, so you're not just tossing the head back. There you go. Belly in. Take another inhale. Now as you exhale, straighten up that front knee, turn sideways. Let's go to the other side. Now you're gonna lift up your left toes and bend that left knee 90. Your right leg is stretched far behind you and the right knee is long. Lift up and your shoulder blades are gliding down the back. Breathing, good. Nine, energize that back leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and take another inhale. And on your exhale, come back. Get ready. You're going to step or jump together, hands together at the heart. This is a great time if you need a sip, grab a sip. We're going to go down a little bit more towards a down dog. So you'll see that I move you, but grab a sip. Now your hands are together, then I'll move them here. The camera, go up with your inhale. Exhale, let your hands touch the floor. Now see if you can put your feet back in a plank. Good. Your backup plan is to do a down dog. Otherwise, bend your elbows and go into an up dog. 
Lift your hips, add a push up, down dog. Now hold the down dog. You can bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the other. And you're gonna feel the calves stretching. There you go. Now place your left foot on your right heel and feel that stretch. One leg only. Five more breaths. Let your left foot down. Put your right foot on that left heel and hold. Both heels are going to go long again. And then three little vinyasas, push through plank, go into an up dog, and you don't have to switch your feet, just leave them here, and then exhale down dog. Press the calves, push through your feet, go into plank, go into up dog, inhale, and then exhale. You're doing great. One more time, push plank, go into up dog, and exhale down dog. Good. Let's put that right knee down and take your left arm over. Stretch through that front side. Five, four, yes, three, good, two, and then lower that left hand and that left knee. Stretch your right arm open. Big heart. Keep lifting. Four. Three. Two. Inhaling. And exhaling. Now come back to hands and knees. See if you can lift up your left knee. Now reach your right hand to that foot and open up towards the sky. Good. This is a bow variation of your asana. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, lower the hand and the knee and take the other one up and hold on to that foot and lift, breathe. Oh, that looks great. Keep lifting. And relax perfect now go back into downward dog press your heels towards the floor and hold five four three two now shift your weight we're going to head down to the floor so you could bend your elbows and get down belly and then we are going to interlace the fingers lift up your heart Lift up your legs and breathe. It's a variation of Shalabhasana. This is both a yoga posture and a Pilates posture. Designed to help us with our posture, upper back muscles. Stimulating bone density. Opening up the front body, which tends to get drawn forward, but not in us. Relax here and just switch your hands so the other pinky's on the outside. Lift up your arms, lift up your shoulders, lift up your legs. Breathing here. Now 
Relax your toes, take your hands in front of you and lift up your back and then let your hands assist you. Hold here, you're gonna feel your shoulder blades go down the back. Good, belly pulls in. Five. And four. And three. And two. Good. You notice how the head's in line with your upper back. That's going to feel better than the head dropping. Good. Lower. Now either do that again, or if you would like to take a full pose of Dhanurasana, you can bend both knees and hold on to your feet and then lift up. Breathe. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. We're going to do that one more time. So you can rest for just a moment here and then push into your hands and lift up again. It's almost like you're trying to see how light can I be here? How little effort can I have here? Five. Four. Three. Belly pulls in. Two and relax. Now we're gonna take a child's pose and stretch out the toes at the same time. Push yourself back, stretch out your toes, arms are in front, your low back as well. And then shift back into a down dog. When you're in down dog, you can walk it out. Knees are soft, five. If you would like, go into dolphin. Now dolphin is on your elbows. You're pressing your heels back and neck is soft. Five, four, three, two. If you'd like, put your left foot on your right heel in dolphin and hold that one leg. Five, in its own calf stretch, four, Three, two, left foot down. Now your right foot can push on your left heel. Five, four, three, two, and then both heels. Very good. And now we're gonna take our knees wide. This is the frog posture. Let your knees go really wide on the mat and the big toes go towards each other. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my camera again. You guys are welcome to stay where you are. Good, big toes towards each other, love it. This is also a lower back decompression. We're going to hold here, and if you feel like you need to take your knees wider, then you can do that too. Your five, four, three, two, 
two. Inhale. Now, as you're ready, exhale and slowly come up. I know we could just stay there for 30 minutes. It's a lovely pose, isn't it? And so we're going to come up, child pose briefly, and walk your fingertips over to a side. Now, when you walk over, it's like you're trying to get this pinky far away from this hip. That is your stretch from pinky to hip. So you'll feel your, oh, doesn't that feel so good? Right around your shoulder, you get a good stretch. And between your ribs, when you inhale especially, from your rib to your pelvis, I want you to see, does it feel better to open up? You can do a little clamshell here. Maybe, maybe walk over more. And exhale to close and let's just walk over to the other side. Your pinky is far away from your hip, big stretch. And again, you may walk more. You might open up your armpit. Maybe just, yeah, there you go. Just change an inch and see what it does and really direct your breath to that side. So good for back health, breath, which is also related to energy, which is related to mood, posture, shoulders. Take another inhale. <laughs> And then as you're ready, exhale and come back. <laughs> Perfect. Now inhale and as you exhale, you can take your downward facing dog. So let your body just move freely. It could be that you walk the dog. Good. And we're gonna take that right leg up and pull that right thigh under and take an upright pigeon. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit up. Good, all right. So this is gonna be the back hip flexor and the front hip. The chest is also opening. The upper back is also opening. Just uh, like those postures that we do with our belly down, you're opening up your chest and shoulders here. As you're ready, you can fold forward and rest into that. Um, see how that hip feels. Relaxing, releasing. Just notice how easy it is to relax here. Every exhale is a wonderful opportunity. You can take a thread the needle if you'd like where the left arm goes underneath your right armpit. Your right arm comes around and you can even hold on to that big toe.
Take a moment to release your toe. If you're ready, you can come back up into an upright pigeon. Now the opportunity uh, is yours. You could bend your knee and hold on to that foot. You could take both hands to that foot and caress and open up your heart, open up your chest. Oh, that's gorgeous. We're going to release that foot and the toes are now curled under. Lift up your thigh and press into a downward dog. Downward dog's a great opportunity just to sort of reset, recalibrate, walk it out, get some blood flow. We're going to take another inhale to lift your left leg up to the sky and on your exhale, your left thigh comes forward. Your right leg is reaching back. Mm -hmm. Heart is open. Neck is soft. That's it. Yeah, you can just release your neck, kind of look it around. Shoulders relax even more. Yeah. You might even be able to walk your back leg further. The pose, the posture changes. And exhale. I like how the animals relax. They feel the really the relaxing energy of the class, so they sort of let go. Bring your torso down and just relax. It's okay if you want to wiggle right and left. I know I certainly like to do that. Rocking is a natural way to calm the nervous system even further, too. Your body knows that. You're welcome to just stay right here. If you would like to try that rotation, your right fingers crawl underneath your left armpit and then your left arm wraps around and holds onto your big toe. Feel that shoulder opening, feel the hip opening. Now, on the one, you're welcome to lower your hand and just peel up like you're peeling a sticker off the floor. And you might find that you're ready to bend that back knee and hold on with one foot, maybe two feet. Maybe you just hold your hands on the floor and do the normal pigeon. You got it. Neck is soft. Relax your right shoulder blade down the back, Betty. Yeah, there you go. You felt that. Five. Four. Three. Two. Take another inhale. And on your 
your exhale, let those toes down, press back, downward dog. Walk it out. Good. We're going to have some more fun. This one's going to be with some rotations. So shift your body weight, lower yourself down. Now your right arm goes underneath. You remember like how we did with the pigeon? But now the left arm is going to go out. Your right hand holds onto that left knee. And what you have is a rotation. We just came into it the different way. Look over to your left. Relax here. Nine. Take another inhale, and then as you exhale, we're going to head towards the belly down position. Now the left arm is going to go underneath your right armpit. Your right arm goes out, and your left hand is going to hold on to that knee. Every exhale is a chance to release tension, so let's relax the shoulder and then relax the chest. Feel the upper back relax. Feel your hip relax. Press your knee down towards the floor. Relax that body. This is uh, great for calming the nervous system as well. If you notice one side's tighter than the other, you can take a little bit longer on that side. Sometimes we can have differences in our rotation, rotational patterns just from a sport we play or from an occupation or even just something you do habitually. So just notice if you have that different, like if you're always putting something in the drawer to the right of your computer and you're always rotating your body that way. So you can just sort of change up your environment too if you can or stay longer on the side that's tighter. Now we're gonna take another inhale and as you exhale, come on back. Now the torso is on the mat and you can take your hands to your feet and let your knees be a little wider than your ribs. And this is a bound ankle supine. You got it. Uh-huh. Now it's like we're getting a bonus here. So take your right ankle to your left thigh and you can reach your hands through. This is also a great place to move those ankles. To spread those toes. Um, yeah, get some dexterity in there. And then really come back to focus on the hip.
take another inhale. Now on your exhale, we're going to let that other side down, ankle to thigh, reach your hands through the window. And you can rock here, you can move your ankles and toes and spread and just find. Relaxing, releasing. Notice how that helps your low back relax too. And as you're ready, you can let your feet go really wide. Draw your right inner knee down. And if you can, your ankle, uh, left ankle can go on top of that, that right thigh. Your arms could even go up. And relax, Tim. So your, your left ankle is on top of your right thigh and your inner right knee is down to the floor. Yeah. Try feet wide, Betty, and then drop your inner right knee. Now lift up your left ankle and drop. There you go. Your stretch was good too. They're all good hip openers. <laughs> so it's basically that we're releasing tension from the body. You know, as a, a humans, we can have up to 400 emotional inflections a day. And then any kind of awkward movements we make during the day, lifting, groceries. And you're just getting your nervous system back into recalibration. This is a good healing place. You can bias the exhales as a way to promote further relaxation. Every exhale is a chance to relax your body more. And we're going to take another inhale. And as you exhale, let your left foot go wider than your mat and let your inner left knee drop. Let your right ankle come on top of your thigh and relax through the top front hip. See how much you can relax through the hips. Relax through the abdomen. Relax through the chest. Feel the eyes, the shoulders, and the hands. And the breath is a little easier. Not that the tension around the hips and the abs and the back have been released. So it's as if you're putting fresh new light inside and you're exhaling out any tension and energy you don't need in your body. Now as you're ready, you can let your body go into a leg on the wall or leg on the couch position, realign and let your hands go to your belly and that way you can focus on your diaphragm when you inhale you're breathing and expanding the belly exhale release tension from your feet and your legs inhale through the nose and exhale release tension in the lower abdominals 
Inhale through the nose and feel that breath go to your belly and relax tension in the shoulders. Inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, relax tension in your eyes and your jaw. Just take a moment to feel a sense of floating and space all around you. So you're more like you are the breath as opposed to your physical body. Take a few more moments here just experiencing the breath as if the breath is breathing you. Now, whenever you're ready, allow your fingers and your toes to start awakening and to start coming up towards a seated position. Take your time. You're gonna lift up through your spine without much effort. And you can let your hands come to your heart, shoulders drop, and then send your energy and your focus and your awareness to your heart as if you're expanding your heart outward three dimensionally. And this is going to expand the ability to see all the appreciations that we have around us and then exhale release any tension. So appreciate for now the body, what it did for us today. Your inhale goes to your heart as you appreciate all that your body did and your exhale releases any tension. Inhale, and you can give appreciation to the nervous system, how it followed our instructions and it did what we wanted it to. And how fortunate we are to have that and exhale, let go of any tension. Inhale, relax and feel that heart expand towards your mind. How good that was that our mind got us here and exhale, release tension. You can inhale that you're in a safe, warm environment right now, shielded from rain, shielded from severe weather. And then just notice how it's easier to get into a sense of gratuity and appreciation. And you can do one on your own, whatever appreciation comes to mind. And whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back to the room and may this help, help you open the eyes and the senses to all the appreciations we have during our day. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Happy Wednesday. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Thank you. Bye guys. Thank you so much.